Danish Fashion Institute can celebrate their 10-year anniversary. What are some of the amazing accomplishments that have been achieved in the past decade? Well, one of them is Copenhagen Fashion Week. <laughs> I mean, that would be our primary project that we started out with back in 2005, 2006. And it's grown tremendous, tremendously. It's, it's great. Absolutely. And we're outside here in, in a very green sort of arena with trees and everything. And I think that's quite appropriate. Copenhagen Fashion Week is notably one of the greenest uh, fashion weeks out there, we could say. And what are some of the challenges and um, goals that you're hoping to achieve moving forward as far as green and sustainability goes? Okay, um, I think fashion industry globally is one of the world's most resource demanding industries, both in terms of environmental issues, but also in terms of social. And I feel that as an industry, all of us needs to contribute. The Danish fashion community has put it upon themselves as something that we find very important. And together with our Nordic colleagues in the five Nordic countries, we formulated a vision that we can be first movers or spike interest and put a benchmark out there on how we develop cool, desirable, you know, lovely fashion, but made in a more sustainable manner. Going strong for a decade, where do you imagine things will be in 10 years from now? <laughs> Well, I think when we started out, we set ourselves an ambition to become the fifth fashion capital in the world, saying if Paris, New York, London and Milan are the first four, um, could we be the fifth? I don't know where we rank on that list, to be honest. I think it's still a goal. Um, I think mainly the target for us is to be on the map globally. And at the moment, I think we're working on, you know, how to find a position and um, what could be the position for Copenhagen in an international contest or context. Um, could it be the sustainability approach? Could it be talents? Because obviously also Copenhagen is like is nurturing a lot of talents. And if you look at the schedule for this season, we have numerous, you know, deputants and young talents and, you know, new companies emerging. And I think maybe that could be some of what Copenhagen is contributing with. Do you have any personal goals for Copenhagen Fashion Week in the next, I don't know, week, day, year, 10 years? Oh, I have great many, you know, personal goals and ambitions. I, I still think we have a long way to go yet. I'm, uh, I'm very interested in seeing what happens in the retail field where you have a lot of things going online. We still need a physical retail space, obviously, but a lot of sales takes place online. I'm wondering if Fashion Weeks in the future will be selling online and then we will have to figure out what we have to do with the meeting because people still want to meet and they want to party and they want to see shows and they want to have fun and they want to feel the fabrics and so on. So I think maybe the fashion we can develop into something entirely different in 10 years time. Thank you so much, Eva. Enjoy Copenhagen Fashion Week and happy 10th anniversary. Yay, thank you.